And when I've been out traveling around Australia, I've had a pretty decent supply of water with me because I never knew when or where I'd be able to get the next supply. Some towns don't really have anything available, not unless you pay a lot of money for it and uh, in a form of uh, bottled water from a store. But uh, I ended up having about 70 liters with me wherever I was. I'd use my little five liter here as my daily can. This way I could keep track of how much water I was using each day. Typically throughout winter, I was doing about four liters per day for drinking, cleaning, and, uh, and washing. And then towards uh, summer, it was more towards five to six liters a day. So I've got everything here strapped in. I'll show you how it all works. Let's move some of the other gear I have out. I designed everything so it was fairly quick and easy to access. So I didn't want to have to dig through too much gear and move things around. So I have everything strapped in because uh, obviously a lot of parts of Australia are pretty rough, the tracks are rough, and there's always a chance of rolling a car if you lose control. I passed one rollover that had just happened only probably several minutes before I arrived, and uh, thankfully only one person was somewhat injured, and it wasn't too long before we had some uh, help come along. But uh, here it is here, everything's strapped in. I'm using rated, uh, rated uh, tie-down points along with a rated ratchet strap. So it's more than enough to hold down 70 kilograms of water. Simply just undo this. And I've got instant access to my 20 liter jerry cans. Now I purchased this particular type because they're the strongest I've found. There are clear types, but uh, I've had a lot of jerry cans break on me. The seams are really poor. Typically they can uh, leak along the side. I've bought some that are brand new and leak. But these military style are excellent. Have had no problems on all the uh, 30,000 kilometers or so I've traveled around Australia thus far with these. They're doing great. So whenever I need to refill each day, I just do just like I did there. Undo the two. I tend to leave this here just so I'm not lugging it out and moving around. It's just easy to undo it. Flip it out. There I go, that's my daily ration of water. If I need to, I just uh, do the exact same thing again, quick and easy. Now my setup gave me about a two week supply of water, 14 days at five liters per day, which was plenty. Sometimes I'd basically spend that long out and about in the bush before I'd head to a town to resupply. So uh, along with the food, which was about a two week supply, I was pretty well set up. There were times when I wanted more water and I happened to have a, a creek or a, water hole nearby. So I invested in one of these. It's a lifesaver bottle. It's a water filtration system. Basically it's uh, capable of fil filtering any sort of water, whether it's polluted or not. As long as it's fresh water source and not salt water, it can filter it into pure drinking water. It removes everything biological, so all viruses, bacteria. It produces clear drinking water. You just basically unscrew this to the bottom, fit it from your water hole, undo it, pressurize it with a few pumps, and out the top, you can drink clean drinking water. So I'd use this. This particular model takes about, about 15 minutes I can get five liters of clean drinking water. And I'd do that a few times uh, during the week. That just helped uh, top up my water supply. You can get bigger versions, which are in jerry cans, uh, they're a bit more expensive. This particular model, I think, was uh, the filter lasts for about 6,000 litres. So there's uh, easily a year supply or so of just carrying this around with me. As long as I've got some drinking water nearby, I think I might show you soon how this works. And uh, yeah, I'm topped up, ready to go. So yeah, let's just take a look at this now. Now this murky water doesn't seem very appetising. Pretty uh, dark looking, who knows what's in it. Basically, I just come along. Fill this up, let's make sure the foam is there to catch any grit. Put it back in. A 
knock it off. And then it comes out pressurized, clean drinking water. Give it some more pressurizing. Basically, I'm just forcing it through the uh, extreme micro filter inside. Basically, you've got drinking water. Won't drink this particularly now because I haven't changed the uh, little carbon filter inside. Uh, that's just an additional protection barrier, which should be changed every so often uh, within every 500 litres or so. But I haven't done that for a while since I last used it, so uh, I need to change that first before I can drink this just to be extra sure. But the water colour is basically clear. It's taken out all the crap, all the back bacteria, and uh, yeah, I'd use that to top up my water supply wherever I was. Very handy to carry.